Amy, thanks for coming. Thanks for having I had me. You last, I had you here last week. A lot of people really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> Two weeks in a row. I'm starting to yeah. feel like you're on the payroll now. I'm enjoying the torture I get to put him through, so this yeah. is fun for me, This too. is the most fun part for me, too, i yeah. got to say. Yeah. Before we what go... What else can we get him to sign up for? I don't That's know. That's a good question. Me yeah. and you will work Somebody that Somebody submit some things they want us to maybe get into. Before we get go into... into Right? Yeah, I yes. guess we could do that. But Mike has to join us. Oh, I love that. Don't love that. that. We are not letting Mike off the hook. He thinks that he's not going to have to go do cryotherapy and stuff. I've got something that's a lot closer that I think that maybe he would enjoy. Yeah. yeah. I don't care if he enjoys it. <laughs> if he well. didn't enjoy it, it would be even better. Um, well, moving what on. What is that all about? <laughs> I mean, the cry- I, jerk. I want him to experience what I experienced so we can have common ground and com- communicate. So if you're going to be miserable, I'm going to be miserable with you? I may, I don't Misery does like. love company, Mike. Well, huh? I don't know. I, I'm hoping that you come and find enjoyment of just hanging out with your wife and I doing wanted, all these fun things. I think it. that he oddly likes to, entor- in, to endure this with me just because it's something he gets to do with me. I, I would say so. I, I would so. spend time with Amy even if I was being being tortured. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's Some see. people go on you know dates. Some people go on cruises. Some people yeah. go in champagne bubble baths. Yeah. Y'all go to core and cryo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to make uh, I wanted to make sure I updated everyone uh, before we get into a uh, conversation about um, core and, and whatever else we're going to do, hot yoga. Um, I went to dinner last night. I went to a steakhouse. Amy, we had a debate on this show Tuesday about A1 sauce that's continuing to go, uh, go on. Uh, through Dirty Mo Media's social media handles, we put we put out we pushed out some videos uh, about my take on being able to enjoy a one sauce uh, with my steak. And so, to frame this up, I have the opinion that if I like a one and want to put it on my steak, it doesn't matter how great the steak is, I should be able to enjoy the a one and the steak. And other people are of the opinion. Other people being social media. I, I, yeah, I'm. I'm not. A large, a another. large, a, a large portion of people are very stern about the the idea that if it's a good steak, you absolutely should not put anything on it. And a one is only applicable when the steak is not good, or when you're trying to improve the taste of the steak. Okay. People say medium rare. Is the only way to cook a steak, and if it's done well, it needs no sauce. But I'm of the opinion, I don't argue that. I think a steak can be great all alone by itself, but I will always prefer it with A1. And so last night I went to the steakhouse. I've seen you taste, I've seen you pour a half a bottle of A1 on something without even tasting it first, so I know that you feel that way. Mm. It's like you have a sauce effect. I think it's vinegar-based stuff. Oh, okay. Buffalo, A1, pickles. But he will full-on pour it all over yeah, his I food without it. even tasting what it tastes like first. So he could have a big salt bomb on his plate. Yeah. 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 I went to the steakhouse last night, the best one in town, and I ate a New York strip with no sauce. Mm. I, ch- I mean, I can do it. Did you hate it? I loved the steak. It was I, great. No, no, no. Did you hate yourself? No. <laughs> but like I, said, like I said Tuesday, there was... <laughs> Let's just say 10% of me disappointed that I wasn't enjoying A1 as well. Mm. So, so, okay. So, you Why, want to pat you on the back? I'm not saying that. You want us to pat on you on the back? You, <laughs> no. you did a big boy thing by going and eating at a big steakhouse, the yeah. nicest one in town, and did put A1 all over it? All That's right. right. Well, well almost, done, Dad. I almost took a picture, <clears throat> put it on my social media. Okay. Listen, I know. Listen, I like A1 sauce. I'm just saying that. I, Amy, what is your take on this? I'm not even going to tell. I've said mine on Tuesday. I, as the one that cooks in the house, I find it to be quite insulting. Thank you. When yes. My, when my my people, all of them now, refuse to even taste it without drowning it in ketchup or A1 or whatever sauce yeah. they yeah. deem worthy. Yeah. If I was a chef, I'd probably be far more annoyed. Really? If yeah. I was at a nice restaurant with really amazing food, I got yeah. it. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but, you know, you do have the right to drown it in whatever you want to. Yeah. I think the same thing about people with table salt. Like, you didn't even taste that. You're going to pour salt all over it? Oh, yeah. What if it's salty already? Right. There are people that I know that do that. So, yeah. like, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Um, I felt like that I, 
I was like, hey, man, telling me that I shouldn't be putting A1 on a really good steak, right? If we go to the steakhouse and, and it's a you great— You just think A1 is a really good sauce. Yeah. So you think yeah. they go together. I get Barbecue where you're coming from. Barbecue sauce on ribs, right? Butter on a, on a baked potato. That's the way I look at A1 to, okay. to the steak. They, mm-hmm. it, it literally has steak in the name, steak sauce. They did that on purpose, honey. Yeah. Right. Well, oh, wow, that's that marketing thing. Yeah. That's that uh, those little me. tricks the that food companies make thing. that, that, that <laughs> they, they get well, into your brain. A1, they A1, even A1, made the bottle the color Mike of He thinks me. A1's going to his stomach. <laughs> it's going to his brain. Mike reminded me that I, there was Everybody a t- has their Popeye spinach. This is A1. It Absolutely. gives him muscles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Mike reminded me. I'll tell you me, what it gives him. Mike reminded me that I had a little stretch there when I was, uh, where A1 came out with the teriyaki version. Oh. And he's like, man, is it was everywhere. You had it everywhere in every in every container. Yeah, <laughs> he'll pour it out too, and then lick the lick, lick the top of it just so he doesn't that one little well, drip that's always on the top of the bottle. He that does not go to waste. That goes straight in his mouth. Yeah. So it's his bottle. When Nobody was, else is sharing insane. that bottle of A one yeah. with him. It's his. Yeah. Oh my god, he's obsessed. Does it? Do, uh, maybe it gives him secret powers that we just don't know about. Maybe he has a. Uh, you know, whatever. Ga- gas power. Okay. That's about all, all right. it gives him. All gas right. power? Yeah. Oh. I just wanted people to know that, yeah. Then he does eat A1 a lot. I, I went not, to the not, I can, not so much anymore. I, I can go but to the steakhouse. Out, yeah. I went to the steakhouse and I didn't storm out. All right. I ate my steak. <laughs> Thank God for making a scene. Let's not make a scene at the steakhouse. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Exactly. Again, we, he wants us to give him an attaboy here. He I wants don't, us to be proud of no, him. No, I don't. I have an attaboy to give you about Corey. You did awesome. So first of all, there we go. We we I told him I was going. He says he's mildly interested based off of our fun that we had together because it was bonding when we went to cryotherapy. So now he's interested in core. I used to do this very regularly. I did it all through my first pregnancy with Isla. I was on supersonic shape. I didn't realize how how strong my body was until I quit and started going back because I'm taking breaks too. And it's hard. It's so hard. And every class is different. I know you've kind of got your moves memorized as you're reiterating them on Tuesday, but you go back the next time and it's totally different instructor, totally different moves, totally different muscles that are going to be sore. So it's never easy, but you did really well. He was sandwiched between my girlfriend, Jill and myself. So he could see no matter which way he was facing, what he was supposed to do. Um, because, yeah, I didn't know what the back or the front of the machine was called. And no blah. clue. And he did really well. Yeah. At one point, he did look up at me about, about five or ten minutes in. He looks over at me and he goes, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, you got this. And he goes, I can't hear you. I was like, you got this. You got hey, this. Yeah. I said the same thing at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm dying. Yeah. I'm going to die here. <laughs> me and Mike had two near-death experiences. Yeah, and nobody cares. They're it's laughing core, at our expenses. It, the core in the Grand Canyon. Right. That's exactly right. <clears throat> uh, I was actually, listen, he told the story. You just listened to the the, the whole story from yeah. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Did he ha- have any inaccuracies at all? Um, no, not really. So he took, did you take Isla to school? He took Isla to school. Mm-hmm. And I was worried he was going to be like getting back so that we could ride together. And I kind of halfway in my mind thought he's going to do this on purpose. Uh. Like he said, I'm thinking maybe the door is going to be locked. And then, oopsie, <laughs> I, kind of, I, I kind of had this weird feeling he was going to be late on purpose so oh, that we got man. locked out. And I told him, you can't walk in late. They don't want the class disturbed. They locked the door. And I've been you've, five minutes late getting out. down there and gotten locked out Damn. and been so pissed off. And then I come down in Charlotte, and unless you really have errands to run or something to do, it's not really a place you dilly dally. For me, I don't dilly dally around. I do what I got to do, and I get back to Mooresville, and then I do my typical stuff. So uh, like, it's really annoying if you get locked out. T- yeah, time out. It, they they won't open the door. You can't knock on the door and say, "Let me in." No. Have you paid already? Yeah. Sorry. They do they refund? S- no. All right, that's illegal. It's not illegal. I don't like core now. You sign up knowing that. Good grief. They don't want you coming in and just... So here's the thing. He's already coming G- up with reasons not to go. Give my <laughs> money back at least. No. I mean, like, if I didn't get to do the workout... If you don't cancel class, this is typical with every small studio. If you don't cancel class within 24 hours, they still charge you. Unless it's like an emergency or something like that happens. But no, you, you, you sign up. That's part of the gig. And so you don't want to be late. You want to get there at least five minutes early because you a, want to pick your pick your machine, you know, yeah. pick the spot of the room you like. Mm. Um, when we got there, we were there was a class going on. It had like five minutes left, and it sounded, 
it sounded like a 1985 aerobics class going on in there. There was shouting and music playing, and it's the, She's only it, sh- the windows dark, blacked out. You can't see through it. And I'm like, what the hell's on the other side? Of that? <laughs> well, what are we getting ready to do? What are we getting ready to walk into? I can't see the room. Oh my gosh! So, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we had just enough time. <laughs> The other side of that there. wall is Tim Richmond doing his yes. aerobics. Yeah. <laughs> yes. With his leg warmers. It's Head loud bag. like that because they have music playing loud. And you want that. When you're in there, you don't want to be able to hear your own thoughts, right? You need to be able to breathe and get through the motion. So my the thoughts, music's helpful for me. My thoughts were a bunch of F-bombs yeah. strung together So he's sitting there on the minutes. couch, and we have to put on these socks with, like, rubber things on the bottom so you don't slip around on the machines. And I'm thinking, he's going to tell me he needs to go to the bathroom and he's not going to come out. That's what one of our buddies did. Yeah. He went with his wife and he said he had to poop about halfway through and he never came back. <laughs> <laughs> true. True story. Hey. Yeah, so I, I imagine him pulling one of those, but he didn't. He signed up. He went. He did it. He did great. He got through the whole thing. I'm still sore. We are more sore this morning than we were even yesterday. It yeah. just kind of travels through your body, but it's, it's really, he did good. So you're going to go back? I don't know. I want to do the hot yoga. So typically on Thursdays, Lisa Backer and I go do hot yoga. Um, so we are either going to do that. But Morgan was telling me that there's this place in Mooresville called Hot Works, and there's all different types of classes. And there's 15-minute or 30-minute classes, so it's much shorter. What is the hot y- yoga? Yoga is normally. 75 minutes. 75 minutes. God almighty. 75 minutes, and it's 104 degrees in the room. And you're kind of holding poses like planks and stuff? Yes. Similar so we do a that? vinyasa flow. So you're holding poses, and then you're doing – a typical flow in between. So What's you're, a flow? I'm going to say things you don't know, but I'll try to not use the technical terms. Planking <clears throat> your sphinx move that you were doing this morning. His, his yeah. sphinx you move. You kind of go through that and push back to a downward dog where you're upside down. <laughs> it stretches everything, but you're using your core to do all of this movement gotcha. too. Hey, do your sphinx move. Yeah. I've got this seven minute workout <laughs> on my phone that I've been doing every morning since we went and did this core only to keep my body from locking up. My well, listen, muscles are so, the sphinx so pissed off. <laughs> I thought for sure he had just been so inspired that he, wa- he got that thing downloaded before we went to bed that night. He His got things? up the next morning oh, and was doing a 30-minute workout oh. out the front door no, tell in me. his underwear. He was doing the Sphinx move in his underwear? That was this morning. He's done it at, He's he's done it every morning now. Just because I don't want my body to – my muscles are mad, and they're going to nod up, and this, this thing I did at core is going to be all for nothing. So I'm I'm trying to make something out of this. Man. I like it. We we're all we're all here for it. I'm going to walk in here with a damn six-pack one day, Mike. I'm going to walk in here with a damn cut-off shirt. Wearing my six pack out. That, right. that would be a hard limit for me. No yeah. cutoffs. No cutoffs. No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those used to be a big deal back in the eighties. I think the for cutoffs girls, will come back. For girls. Hey, you are been boys to doing that? Yeah, boys used to do it. You've been to NASCAR races. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you? I have. That I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of things at a NASCAR race. It's a hundred when it's Oh, you're talking about cutoff shorts. I thought you were thinking a tank top, yeah. like chopped. Kind of like a short Oh, okay. Short shorties. Guys used to guys used to cut sleeves and everything off. I hear you. My dad used to mow the lawn in shorts like that. Yeah. Shirts. Dale Jr. Shorts. walks in here with shor- okay. jorts, a cutoff shirt, and an A1 sauce. That's the all, all-American man right there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Coming straight out of core. Yeah, so the thing in Mooresville, tomorrow, you could actually join us, Mike. Yeah. It's, okay. I'm going to walk in here one day. It's just going to be a collar. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> now you're a Chippendale. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start. A Chippendale hey, Jr. I'm going to come in here one day. It's just going to be no sleeves. Then it's going to be no. Then my belly's going to be out. Jr. Chippendale Jr. is the name of his next podcast. <laughs> I'm going to come in here. Sleeve, no sleeves. The next That's week. Halloween no costume. sleeves. Yeah. No, my belly's going to be out. My six pack. Then I'm going to come in here just a damn collar. Yeah. Just the ring. We could do a podcast with him and Chip Wild. It's called Chippendale. <laughs> oh, yeah. And their sponsor better damn be A1. <laughs> right, A1. All, all the publicity that he gave A1 this week, I mean, come on. Uh, yeah. I'm going to come in here with a track suit. <laughs> Is that what you're yeah. doing? Matching, matching uh, sweatpants, sweatshirt, Adidas. Unzipped. Yeah. Just. Oh, yeah. Here I am. Yep. Let's we'll start. Yep. It'll be the whitest show we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> you won't have to use all these lights. Oh, no, no, no. No, I have to dim them. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> He's going to glow. Now we're tanning. We're going to tan? Gonna no, no, no. We're going to tanning classes. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There ain't, ain't no such thing, is there? Uh, in class. I sure hope not. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's close the Flip. lid. Yeah, yeah. 
created a monster. When Amy, when Amy, when Amy met me, I had a tanning bed. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's right. And you the did. only, yeah, the only reason I never got in it. The only reason I had this tanning bed is because you can find this on you can find this on the internet. Dad and Teresa, probably around 1984, 5, 86. Don't blame it on Dad and Teresa. They did a tanning bed ad. But you didn't have to keep it. You kept it for a reason. Uh-oh. Why'd you keep it? This is- they did a tanning bed ad. And this tanning bed went in our lake house mm-hmm. that we lived in. And then I, you know, this tanning bed stayed there. And eventually, Teresa said, hey, I'm getting rid of that tanning bed. Do y'all want it? And I said, hell, I'll take it. And my hoarder. And, and there you go. Uh, yeah. D- but you don't have any more, do you? No, I don't know. I, it might. It used to be in the garage, I think that it's random that. garage where the yeah. boxing ring was. And I think, I think that it's not in there. It's not in no, there they anymore. cleaned all that out. It didn't work anymore. No. Christy and I used to try to lay in it, and nothing happened, uh, even for Christy. And she gets yeah. red pretty fast. So it it, a, the bulbs were old. old. Well, we'll see. I, I kept I'm it, you sure, know, because I'm sure it was, tanning class will. It was a family heirloom. Man. You know what? We could sign him up for spray tanning. <laughs> it was a family heirloom. You have to hold all bed. kinds of poses doing that. And if you don't, have you seen the episode of Friends where Ross gets in the chamber yes. and he, yeah, so it's all on this front side? Yeah. You do have to hold these funny poses and stand till the thing beeps. Would you be down for a spray tan? No, no, no. No? No, because it rubs off on everything. Does it? Yeah. Don't yeah. it? It rubs off, it browns up everything. What are you talking about? Don't the spray tan? Not unless you let it dry first. I mean, you typically don't roll around in anything. What's with that your... stuff that they used to? Um, sorry, honey. What's the stuff they used to use to spray? Remember the stuff you could buy in the can? Yeah. What was it called? Sun in. The hair stuff? No, was it? I, you there don't... was that. I remember the I infomercials. Mean, called... Sun in was the stuff you sprayed in your hair. Ah, oh, that's right. Did um, that make your hair lighter? Yes. Oh. It actually just made it yellow. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. You're talking about just a spray tan in a can? They don't they don't exist. They make that and there's mousses that you do, yeah. You, mm. It just it dries on your skin and you take the shower and it stays on your skin for a while. It doesn't get all over. How long does it stay on? Um it just depends on which one you're you're using. Some of them stay on for 3 or 4 days. So like if he's got a Memorial Day weekend or something coming up, you know, do a little quick little spray session and then uh, you know, get him through the week. Well, he could be bronzed to death. Yes. We could yeah. bronze him up. Mm. Get him some jorts. Not doing that. Not interested, huh? Nope. So, mate, you're saying that there's some things out they, there you just draw a line. Have to. you heard the phrase "tan fat equals muscle"? Yeah, I'm gonna have, have real that? muscle no. here. No, what is that? I'll watch. Say it again. Tan fat equals muscle. Uh huh. <clears throat> I don't. Am keep I on something? talking. What does that mean? You're just motivating me to be get bo- get bigger. <laughs> get bigger. <laughs> so, tan fat equals muscle. What does that mean? You're just it means me. get a tan and you look skinnier and you look thinner. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's kind of true. We were going on vacation with uh, Tim and Terry. We went to Key Largo, and it's what month? It's cold. There's no tan happening. So I spray tan myself. I have a mousse that I use, and I text Dale. I was like, "Feeling skinnier already." <laughs> did you encourage any of your friends to send him motivational texts? I have a couple. Questions. I did not. <laughs> no, I didn't Mike. know he was getting motivational texts. Yeah. You got messages they from said, people. Like Jill texts me afterward, and she goes, "Thanks. That's pr- pretty cool. You being there for your lady." Oh, no, I didn't I didn't do that. Yeah. That's just Jill. That, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, he said you got more than that. Well, what all the it? girls afterwards oh, were... I embellished. He embellished that one. Just like we, well, just like gr- we had determined a couple of weeks ago, I embellished. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do that. Yeah. But so the owner, Kate, was in there, and she did the class with us. The redhead, do you remember her, Ralph? Who? Kate, the tall one, the red hair. She owns those studios, mm-hmm. and she came up to him afterwards. She literally did the class just because... He was going to be in there. She wanted to see. She did the class. She was in there doing it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. She wanted to see what? How he did. She oh, wanted to see what the science I'm experience I'm glad I didn't know that. I texted like. her and I was like, Kate, I, I need you to make a space for Dale. Dude, I don't know. Graded. I showed up just to see you I'm do I'm glad it. I knew. Yeah. yeah. If I'd have known I was being graded, I would have really, I would have hurt worse She was right excited now. that you wanted to come in there. <laughs> it's cool. Worse. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, that, that motivates me to try to come back. Oh, you're going back. Okay. I'm just going to sign you up. I'm not going to even ask. Yeah, don't be late. Honey, we're going to Charlotte. They'll lock you out and you won't get Bring your money back. Bring your sticky socks. What is that? You have oh, little... I, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of like at the jump park? Yes, just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. They should do before and after pictures of first-timers. Before picture, how they come in, and then after, how like tired Amy they look. Before and after picture. <laughs> yeah, no. I think I and after. hang them on the wall. So yeah, you're not supposed to have your phone in there, and he, of course he brings his phone in. I didn't know. I ain't leaving my phone somewhere. 
We they're locking a, you there's out. There's lockers. I didn't know. Nobody showed me a locker. I swear to God. Your I shoes like, went in the damn locker. They did? Yeah. I didn't put them in there. You must have done that for me. I don't you must have put them in there for me, honey. Okay. I mean, I saw the lockers, but I didn't apply myself to one. I didn't attach to they one. Don't, the rules I, don't I, apply to listen, the deal. You can't have your phone. They lock you in. What's next? A video that says, I'm doing okay. They're treating me well. Blink. And then they send it out yeah. to the masses. Blink twice if you need yeah. help. <laughs> you guys, such babies. I know. All right. All well, right. What else, Dale? I'm going to uh, send you a friend request on Lose It so I can track your progress. I'll decline it. There, listen, Dale. There's I, nothing worse than somebody heckling you about losing weight. There's nothing worse than Dale heckling you about everything in life. <laughs> he, listen. <laughs> what the hell? There's a reason why. The, listen, you want to know the truth? I'm he, your friend. I'd go to that cryo thing. I'd do it. I ain't doing it with Dale. <laughs> I'm your buddy. There ain't no way. Will you do it with me? Well, that would be weird. We don't have to go in the chamber together like he and I did. Well, I... Because there, <laughs> there are two. Tell her. Tell her what you did. I did say, if you're if I go in, you're going in with me. And he goes, it's really tight space. And yeah, y'all would be shoulder goes, to shoulder. He goes, you might shake into me. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely would sh- shake into each other. That was... Right. Oh, my gosh. Hey, I got <laughs> I got Steve Latart, TJ Majors, and Jake Backer as a friend. Be my friend. On, on Lose It. There's just not a chance. Man. Don't make eye contact. Yeah, I'm are not. You, it, there's not a chance. Don't send me a Are you using equation. your work email? Uh, Probably. Yeah. Absolutely not no. using my work God. email. I don't know any of your personal emails. You're such a private guy. It's Deacon Davis <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> Deacon Davis. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, we'll leave those inside jokes. It's Marty Jones it's, at gmail.com. All right. <laughs> all right. Master climber. <laughs> <laughs> Canyon Master. <laughs> Canyon Master. <laughs> Snack. Canyon Master yeah. 88. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Need snackies at yeah. gmail.com. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Save me. SOS. Save me at 88. Gmail.com. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> at gmail.com. All right. All right. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome. Hey, if you like that video, you'll love the entire podcast, the Dale Jr. Download. It's available on all major podcast platforms.